uh, hanging shelves up there. I'm hesitating because I have no idea if that's actually the best way to do it. Yeah, it'll... it'll adjust. I've been living in my 1979 Mercedes camper for two years now. I love that van, but it was itching me to do my own conversion. Alone and without any experience, I sold my old van and started with my very own van build. Good morning guys and welcome back to another van build episode. I'm slowly getting to the end of this build but uh, there's one more thing, one more bigger structural thing that I want to do I'm going to tackle today and that is uh, hanging shelves up there. I'm going to start with making a blueprint. It's always good if you do these kind of things. Let's get to it. What do you think? I think it looks quite good. They're relatively small, but I think that's all right. I don't want them to take too much room. Let me just tape that really quickly. So I think this is quite good actually. Um, it's not super big as you can see. It's not, there's not a whole lot of space in there but just imagine uh, there's still going to be a mattress up until here and over there I, I would have more space over there but really I want it to be the, the exact same size over there and here I need some space for my head so I can still cook and do everything so I think that should actually be all right and I think it doesn't look like a lot of space but I think there's going to be a lot of storage space in there so. So now I'm making a blueprint for the sides, which are the most important ones. And now I have to trace this shape here so that the shelf ends up looking nice. Okay. Normally if you build those, uh, you should just measure out if they're level, you know, with a thing you can do that. I don't know the English name for that. This. And, um, but right now this car is on an a pretty significant angle so for me it doesn't really make sense to try to measure this I'm just trying to do it by I don't know by guessing so I cut to size and painted all of the pieces that I will probably need for one of the compartments one of the overhead storage compartments and now I need to assemble all those so I already made the holes for that, so it should be relatively straightforward. So this is the, the blueprint that I made and um, I'm going to start out to make three of these L's, um, so this, and then this is going to be filled out with wooden boards. I haven't cut to size yet, um, but that's the next step after, the, after assembling this. 
Okay, let's start with one of the L's. First. Okay, now I'm gonna build three more, uh, two more of these. Well, I made a mistake. Now there are holes here, but I think it should be fine. Just gotta paint over it and then nobody's gonna notice. Except for me, I'm always gonna notice these mistakes. Anyway. So what I'm probably gonna do is um, I'm just gonna fill this part here with wood, something like that, obviously cut this out. Um, and then I'm going to uh, put this blue foam on top, trace out the edge, and then I'm going to cut it out with a uh, jigsaw. Okay, so basically just have to get the inner measurements of this one and then do three cutouts of these. Oh yeah, let's get the measurements. this board had two coats of paint that are ready to be screwed together with the frames. Looking good, looks really white on the video but yeah if I tilt a little bit you can see yeah it looks quite nice. All right let's do the other ones. It's really nice. So now that these are assembled, I will trace around so I can cut it. This is what this looks like. And that's the frame done basically. I mean there are a couple more pieces but I'm going to first put this up in the van and uh, screw down, secure it. And then after that I am going to add the other pieces. So there are uh, four more pieces that come that are added to this shelf. These will go up there and back there uh, but I'm not going to attach it to the shelf itself but to the ceiling and to the wall because those I want those to be flush uh, with this so they're going to be in a slight angle with it from this one something like that yeah I'm I'm hesitating because I have no idea if that's actually the best way to do it but yeah I think it should be all right I think it should be fine so now the moment of truth will it fit It'll adjust. Okay, wow, that's really nice and secure. Nothing's moving. Seems actually super good to me. Um, honestly, I don't really see why I should do much more than that. I mean, you see the shelves, there's not that much space for that much heavy things. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that it fits. <laughs> the 
The reason why I didn't do both at the same time is simply because I just wanted to try um, how it goes and didn't want to do two things that turned out to be wrong. Um, but yeah, it turned out to be nice. Um, I did some little adjustments that I couldn't film, but it was just, you know, just to make it fit perfectly in there. So that's quite cool. So um, I think I'm going to finish up for today, but I'm going to continue tomorrow on this side. But yeah, basically the, the exact same process. The exact, not the exact same measurements, 10 centimeters less. But apart from that, the exact same measure, measurements and uh, yeah super happy about this obviously they still miss the doors but i'm super happy about those all right see you tomorrow okay I think that's really, really nice and secure, even though I didn't use any metal pieces to connect this. It's just screwed in basically into the wall cladding, but it seems super secure. I mean, I can move the whole van with this when I'm trying to move it. So I think that turned out really nice. And I think they also look great. Let me show you. So this is what they look like, both of them now. I think they turned out really really nicely um, as you can see there's a little gap here on this side but that is because I'm going to um, put a wall just a small separation between the kitchen uh, between the kitchen and the cap and this is basically the beam for that so the wall is gonna go somewhere here so that's why th there's a gap there but apart from that these this is um, yeah Obviously, they're still gonna get cabinet doors, but um, I don't think I will have time for this this time. We'll see about that. But um, just in a time frame for time estimation, those were really quick. Um, I took about a day basically to do one of these, which still sounds like a lot, but um, the reason why they took so long is uh, not really the cutting and assembling and stuff, it's more that when they're all in place, um, especially these floor pieces I needed to adjust them a little bit here and there because no nothing is ever perfectly straight and right angle so that basically takes up most of the time just going back and forth and cutting little things and then putting it back in again and seeing if it fits finally so yeah but really happy with the results